Danny Garcia's no-look counter left hook is just like any counter lead hook. One of the most important keys to counter punching is good timing, since Garcia not only has good timing on his left hook, but also good accuracy, he's able to get away with looking away. Of course I don't encourage you to copy this technique of his. And that being said, Garcia most commonly likes to wing his left hook to counter his opponent's left hook, since hooks are good counters to hooks. So we see Amir Khan throw the left hook and Garcia counters it immediately with a left hook of his own. Let's watch that again. So you see Garcia anticipates the left hook, catches the left hook, and immediately comes back with a counter left hook of his own. And this works, he's able to look away because of the timing. He's gotten a feel for Amir Khan's timing over the past few rounds. So we see that after getting a feel for Amir Khan's timing, Garcia is able to see the hook coming and anticipate it. Notice how before the punch even comes, Garcia has his hand up to catch the punch. His lead foot is already loaded up to counter, and his left hand is already in motion. This way, he wastes no time landing the counter as soon as he catches Amir Khan's left hook. So we see Garcia catch the hook and immediately come back with a counter left hook of his own that lands immediately because he prepared it before the punch even came. And we see Amir Khan go down. Another way Garcia sets up his no look counter hook is off of his right hand. He will throw his right hand to bait you to counter it. Then he will duck his head and wing a Hail Mary hook to counter your counter. This is effective as a strategy because he doesn't have to wait for his opponent to give him a punch to counter. He forces them to counter him, thus he could counter their counter with a no look left hook. So we see here against Morales, he throws the right hand and then ducks his head and throws the counter left hook which drops Morales. And you notice this right hand has no conviction on it, he's not meant to do any damage with it. He's really just trying to get Eric Morales to counter this right hand so that he could counter the counter with his left hand. And similarly, in his mega fight against the legendary Rod Salka, Garcia shoots a right hand to encourage a counter from Salka in which Garcia ducks under, looks away, and shoots his Hail Mary of a left hook to counter the counter. And that brings me to my next topic of discussion. I think Danny Garcia is the most likely person to fight Manny Pacquiao next, since Mikey Garcia went to the zone, and I don't think he'll get a rematch with Floyd Mayweather. I want to open the discussion to you guys, but I for one think Danny Garcia doesn't stand a chance against Pacquiao. I've been hearing others in the boxing community say it's a bad matchup for Pacquiao because Danny Garcia is a counterpuncher, and Manny has a hard time against counterpunchers, but I think the opposite is true. Danny Garcia is an orthodox fighter, and in order to pose a threat to Pacquiao as an orthodox fighter, you must possess an effective counter straight right hand, which Danny hasn't shown. The biggest reason I think this would be a bad matchup for Danny is because Sean Porter already exposed that he's susceptible to feints. Feinting is an excellent way to throw off your counter punchers and prevent them from timing you. A simple feint would also be an excellent way to make Danny throw his no look hook at nothing since it's a huge movement that he needs to wind up ahead of time. Pacquiao is a very smart fainter and won't just stand there to get countered. As you see in these clips, he's fainting and countering Juan Manuel Marquez, who's already had two full fights to feel Pacquiao's timing at this point. And if you think Danny Garcia is at the level of Juan Manuel Marquez, then I'm here to tell you he's simply not. On top of that, you must possess an educated jab to keep Pacquiao at bay. Given that the only person who was ever able to establish an effective jab on Pacquiao was Floyd Mayweather, Danny's chances look even worse. Never mind the fact that he hardly ever jabs in his fights to begin with. So what do you guys think? Do you think Pacquiao vs Danny Garcia is going to happen? How do you think that fight goes if it does happen? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and with that said, I'm also happy to announce that the month of February will be the month of Mayweather. Every video in February will be a study on Floyd Mayweather since our birthdays are one day apart. I've got something special planned for the end of the month, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys all next time. Way longer than nine months, but fuck it, it's all in due time. I turn the blood to a rope of dreams of being a beetle. Don't want to, I need to. You gotta learn to keep it so weak. But when you come up in a place where everyone got a peaceful and peaceful, this is just part one way to the sea. Oh, this bitch.